And if once you create an exception to absolute freedom of speech, it's real easy to categorize it and characterize it yeah. as, well, we've already agreed that the principle doesn't matter. Now it's just a matter of degree. Mm. And so that's the danger of, uh, you know, creating these little special protected classes and these carve outs. If you don't apply the law and set an absolute precedent, you open yourself up to exposure where she makes a compelling case. Right. Yeah. It's very, very real. I mean, you, you expose someone enough to, you know, hostile yells or being yelled at, you know, the N-word and a, a sense of fear being uh, instilled because they're too young to understand it or what's going on. They're going to develop real world physical effects. Mm -hmm. The problem is we've already... If you abandon free speech where it's not, listen, they have to deal with it and you have to deal with the fire being yelled, Yeah. then you need to create carve outs for everybody. I would just say that you, you need to be careful about, we have to protect the free speech of Klan members. We have to protect the free speech of Black Panthers in the 60s. We have to protect the free speech of every, person every under the single law. person. And the more disgusting and disgraceful somebody is the more we have to protect their speech because they give the the cover for the government to create the mechanisms that start to erode everybody's free speech. They they are the catalyst for laws being passed to erode our free speech. And so it is incredibly important for us to stand up for people who say and do heinous things if we care about free speech because if we don't we will give the power to the government to take free speech away which is the reason why we have free speech is it was a principle that came about after the treaty of westphalia 30 years war where the habsburgs tried to impart their roman catholicism over the germans the bohemians who were protestants right and so what happened was because the church was the official sanction of the state it was treason against the state to speak against roman catholicism and you could be put to death right so by making it where everyone had absolute, the only thing that stopped the 30 years war, 30 years of this, of killing, and then treasonous acts by saying, well, I don't believe that the Pope has, is the only person that can talk to you know, God. And then making, by saying that and speaking out about it, a act worthy of death, this is where that principle arises from and why we have it. And so abandoning it to accommodate individuals who, do, you know, who it gives them anxiety is fine as long as you're willing to accept, accept in time the majority saying being able to impose this and uh, put it as a part of law that anything you say like in Canada I can have you convicted of a criminal offense right that's the danger of I get the, the logic behind it and I understand we've made accommodations but if we continue to we're done 